the Drake Corsair, the Argo SRV, and newly revealed UI for the upcoming salvage career. All this and more, let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Phase on once again. Welcome to another weekly uplink where we go through the news from the previous week for Star Citizen. All right, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Big shout out to all my Patreons and channel members. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. So last week, they, they, they did uh, an all sprint report for vehicles. So the very first one that they revealed is highly anticipated, the Drake Corsair. All right, so now Drake Corsair is looking fantastic right now. Right now, it's currently in the gray box phase. All right. And um, so in this episode, they showcased the crew quarters, which is, I think, is looking awesome as well. All right. The loading ramp looks massive. So right now, they reveal that it can fit the Ursa Rover as well as vehicles similar to that size. So that is great. Right. So um, one of the good things that I'm really excited about is, is in, in the very near future, Star Citizen is going to be a lived in game. Right. So you're not. It's going to be weird that you're going to be loading in stations. You're going to be out there in space living out. So you're going to need to be in a vehicle that will last long out there. That will take you there and you can survive, right? The Drake Corsair is going to be one of those ships, right? Your Constellations, your MSRs, the Drake Corsairs. These, these, these are going to be the types of ships you're going to be see out there quite often. So this is why this ship is so highly anticipated. All right, so up next, they revealed a little bit of the Argo SRV. For those that don't know what this ship is, this is essentially the towboat. This is the tow truck ship, right? So it will be able to pick up other vehicles and take it to wherever you need to be. Um, especially with piracy being out there, if you if you uh, damage your ship and it's, it's it becomes faulty and you need somebody to take it somewhere, it, it's going to be very important, especially with um, salvage coming in and piracy coming in. And it's, it's going to be quite interesting, this vehicle. It's going to be very valuable out there all right so also they revealed new hud elements for the salvage career which is very exciting it looks really interesting i did notice the um, active shield symbol um under the surface integrity widget it looks pretty cool so it gives me the idea that um if you run into a vehicle and you need to salvage it you may need to ensure that the power is completely off on the ship right make sure that the shield is off in order for you to actually use um the hull stripping aspect of the salvage um vehicle okay so that's 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 going to be interesting the fact that you have to leave your your, your salvage ship your reclaimer you, you have to leave your your vulture to actually go out and make sure that everything is shut off on that ship this way it doesn't blow up in front of you right so um that that's quite interesting i did um notice i did it show different types of nozzles right so um, that looks quite interesting, right? So th that's similar to the refueling mechanic where um, the, the, the Starfarers do have different uh, fuel tanks as well as nozzles that you can alternate between and they all have their own varying um, attributes that you need to um, make decisions based upon, okay? So that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna make uh, the salvage career interesting. Um, you'll get, you can get different levels of performance based on the kind of equipment you have installed. So that's, that's quite exciting to look forward to. Okay. Um, so it looks like there will be different salvage tools. There'll be cutters, different cutters. I'm thinking there'll be new, tr different types of tractor beams, right? And, um, and also I can assume that they'll all have varying positive and negative attributes as well. All right. And I also, and I also assume that they will be varying in extraction, uh, speed as well as range as well. So those are things that I look forward to. Um, I'm sure they will reveal more information as we get closer to the 318 release. So I can't wait to get my hands on that. Right. So they also mentioned that, uh, size restrictions for weapons and gimbals will be changing in the, f in the very near future. So this means um, in order to allow for more customization for players, they're going to allow uh, players to actually use uh, the same size, up to the same size as the gimbal, that the mount point itself um, in order for you to actually get access to more power. Um, so in terms of like size one and size two, um, you can put a size two component on a size two 
mount point um and and um what what you'll notice is with the size two which is a larger size it will be your gimbal will be a little bit slower right as opposed to putting a size one where you'll have a more smoother performance so um in order to allow for customization for players to make make these type of decisions they're going to be allowing that in the very near future so i'm really interested to see how this is going to play out especially with weapons okay so that's going to be interesting to see so they'll be also adding power relays to the hs hammerhead which is very exciting one of the biggest features that i'm looking forward to uh in the upcoming year is going to be the resource management and power relays is going to be an intricate part of that mechanic so um it's great to finally see them adding these because it, it means that we're getting very, very close to a release of that mechanic so that's that's ex also exciting for me to see so last but not least they showed us a snippet of the ui card system so now this is really exciting stuff it looks really really good i'm not i'm not even gonna lie right i like the ar terminal that they showed towards the end um i think it looks really good earlier on we did have something similar a terminal where it was more so an artificial reality type of thing but this one looks a little bit more intuitive it looks more i think just it looks better overall you know so hopefully um it performs well um once we get our hands on it um what i think this how this they will apply this is um in the hangers in our personal hangers once they have that implemented um i think there will be a section where you can walk to to customize your ship and it will be one of those terminals that will actually activate and then you'll be able to customize components and and your ship and things like that using a terminal similar to that i think that's how they're going to be uh using this uh um this this and many other ways they'll be using it anyway so i think that's what they'll use for for the hangers itself hey guys i got more videos like this i'll see you on the next video